Hi, this is Gautam for today's episode of Atlas Agenda. We are going to look at Venezuela. And this is our first video uh, in 2026, so wishing you all a very happy new year. Uh, Venezuela is in news for the present conflict which is going on in Caribbean Sea. So before we start with the map work, we just do a small overview here. So the tensions between the United States and Venezuela started in November 2025. So there is serious allegations from the United States government that Venezuela is a narco state. Again, narco state is any country whose entire economy is founded based on illegal activities like drug trafficking. So the United States says that most of the drugs which gets funneled to the United States of America are actually transported from Venezuela which is on the other side of Caribbean Sea. And uh, these ships were strongly attacked by the United States Navy and at least 95 people have died in the process in the last one month. And you should also know that in December 2025, the United States government had seized one Venezuelan oil tanker saying that they, it was carrying oil which was sanctioned by the United States to other countries. So again, it comes back to the same question of narco state. So point to be noted, we have mentioned many times that whatever happens in this region, remember that things are highly volatile. And uh, by the time you see this recording, maybe things have changed because today morning, the Venezuelan president had stated that uh, he's ready to have, uh, you know, uh, peaceful uh, conversations, a constructive, uh, you know, conversation with the United States of America. So as I told you before, more than the news article, what we should focus on is read around the news. So today, our focus is on the country of Venezuela, its location and neighbors. So if you look at Venezuela, it's present in northern part of South America and is bordering three countries. As you can visibly see, on one side we have Colombia, that is on the western side. The southern part of the country is facing the fifth largest country in the world, which is Brazil. And after Brazil, towards the eastern side, we have another small country called as Guyana. So it is a country which is bordering three other nations in South America. And please remember this in mind. Venezuela in the north is actually bordering two water bodies. Usually when we prepare, we restrict ourselves only to the Atlantic Ocean. But please remember that there are two segments. On one side, we have the Caribbean Sea. And on the other side, we have the Atlantic Ocean. So this is your island arc of, uh, you know, nations. And once you cross over from this boundary, you have the Atlantic Ocean right here. So that is the physical location in terms of boundaries. Now to move towards physiography in terms of an important river system and a lake, which can be potential questions for your examination. If you look at the physiography of Venezuela, the country is located in the tropical region and between 0 to 10. So a larger segment of Venezuela should be following equatorial climate. But the point is, the physiography disturbs this climatic perspective. If you look at southeastern part of Venezuela, it is an elevated region. And since it's a tabletop plateau, you have rivers either moving towards the southern part, towards Brazil, and becoming tributaries of Amazon River, or you have rivers slowly moving towards north and forming a very large drainage basin in Venezuela. So from the exam perspective, the important river which you have to remember is a river called Orinoco, which is right here. And you will clearly see that Orinoco forms a very large delta in the northeastern part of the country. So river is Orinoco. And as all of you would have guessed, river Orinoco drains into your Atlantic Ocean. Fine, because this is the end of your Caribbean islands. You can clearly see that uh, they mentioned Trinidad and Tobago. And north of Trinidad and Tobago, we have Grenada. Again, linked with current affairs, Trinidad and Tobago had a visit by the Prime Minister of India in 2025 as part of the uh, Indian expatriate communities uh, outreach. And please keep that in mind that Orinoco's reverse delta is again towards the northeastern side, draining towards your Atlantic Ocean. And the second physiographical feature which is relevant for your exam based on questions asked in 2025 and previous years is the location of a very important lake. By several estimates, the lake which you see in the northwestern part of Venezuela is called Lake Maracaibo. Maracaibo is considered as the largest lake by certain estimates. At the same time, there is a dispute because you can clearly see that Lake Maracaibo has a slight opening in the north 
and because of that it is affected by tidal fluctuations. So people say that this plays a very important role in deciding its surface area and because of that it may not be the largest lake. But again, focus on the exam perspective, doesn't matter whatever it is, you just have to know for match the following question that the lake Mariah Cabo which you find right here is present in the country of Venezuela and we have a river which funnels a lot of fresh water into the lake Maracaibo and that is Khata Tambo. Khata Tambo. And why am I saying this? Because in the southern part of the lake you have large influx of fresh water. But as you can clearly see from the north there is more intrusion of saline water. So as you start moving from south to north the salinity changes from a more fresh water level to a more brackish water level. And now let's go back to another important current affairs issue regarding oil. Please understand that there are a lot of uh, reasons given on the conflict between United States and Venezuela. But focusing on prelims perspective, you have to know beyond your physiography and political location, economic geography is equally relevant for your questions. And uh, as part of economic geography, a question was asked already in previous year question asking that which country has the largest reserves of oil in the world and you can clearly see from this chart that when it comes to total amount of oil reserves, Venezuela has the highest in the world and it is followed by Saudi Arabia and Iran. Keep this in mind, oil reserve does not guarantee production and that is why we look at the second table where you can see that the largest producer of oil in the world is the United States of America and it's much higher than Venezuela. Venezuela is at 16th position and you can see the total amount of uh, production is extremely less. It's not even uh, one tenth of you know, what the United States produces. This is due to geopolitical tensions where Venezuelan oil is sanctioned by the United States and uh, that cripples the total number of uh, you know, uh, trade routes or the total number of countries with which Venezuela can engage with. So just keep that in mind. When it comes to largest reserves, it is Venezuela. But when it comes to largest production, the top three are United States, Russia and Saudi Arabia. So with that overview on economic geography, I just like to introduce one more important river in this area. As I told you before, read around the region and here we go. The country is Guyana. Why are we talking about Guyana? Two reasons. Guyana has a significant population of Indian expatriate community. They were forcibly transported during the time of the British Raj, especially to workers work in plantations. And in Guyana, there is an important river called Essequibo, right here. This is your Essequibo River. Again, as you can see from the map, that Essequibo River is flowing into Atlantic Ocean. So it is E S S E Q U I B O. Now, you might be asking me, why should I focus on this river? Again, there is a serious issue going on between Venezuela and Guyana, which will be helpful for your prelims exam. If you take the history between Venezuela and Guyana, there was a dispute regarding the land area towards the western side of Essequibo. Yes, the area which I am sharing right now. And you can see that it, it covers a large part of the country, you know, roughly 40% of the country of Guyana was disputed by Venezuela. When was this? Long back, 1899. And back then the arbitration was done by United States of America. And at the end of arbitration, it was decided that the claims were not justified and that the entire territory belongs to the country of Guyana. But the problem is, in the year 2014 and in 2015, the, the uh, company ExxonMobil discovered large volume of oil reserves in the disputed region. And since the discovery of oil reserves, Venezuela has again reinstated the claim which was right from 1899. And it again claims that, you know, this entire territory should be part of its own country. So you can see that Venezuela is facing a lot of tensions. You know, you have sanctions on one side, the accusation and allegation that it's a narco state. At the same time, you have a dispute with a neighboring country. So that is why Guyana is relevant for your exam. It is not only sharing border with Venezuela. There is a serious border dispute and the related river is your Essequibo River, which is flowing into your Atlantic Ocean. So with that, we just want to give a quick summary and one additional point. So we just spoke about economic geography on the total amount of oil reserves, the largest which is present. And also about the two rivers, Orinoco and Essequibo, both of which you drain into the Atlantic Ocean. Third is 
Lake Maracaibo is completely present inside Venezuela and by some estimates it is considered as the largest lake in South America, rivalry with Titicaca. And lastly, this country of Colombia. Keep that in mind, even though the allegation by the US government is with specific to Venezuela, when it comes to narco state, any news article you read as part of current affairs, you will again and again find the mention of Colombia. Because Colombia uh, has been tracked by the World Drug Report 2025 by the United Nations that it's the major source of cocaine which is smuggled to different parts of the world. And most of it, most of it, that is the production comes illegally and it's done in Colombia. So that is why Colombia is also important. And uh, if I just go back to the map for a second, just to show the location of Colombia, keep that in mind, it's not only sharing border with Venezuela, but you also have Colombia having an interesting coastal area, one towards the Caribbean Sea. At the same time, one side of the boundary of Colombia is towards the Pacific Ocean. So it is kind of the transition country, you know, extending the continent from here towards the other side. Please keep this in mind for your prelims examination is bordering both seas. So with that, I wrap up the discussion. The last question. Okay. So this is the question for you. And shout out to people who are answering regularly in the comment section. Consider the following countries. Chile, sorry, Colombia, Argentina, Venezuela and Chile. How many of the countries border both Pacific and Atlantic Ocean? I know we spoke about Colombia. But as I told you before, what you focus on also determines what you miss. So let's see whether you can get Argentina and Chile correct. That's it for today's discussion. Meet you again next Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. And for this particular question, leave the answers in the comment section. Bye for now.